20.1, we've introduced a couple of enhancements for interactive grids. The first of which is, let me just get rid of these photos over here. The first of which is URL filtering um, or the ability to define links that allow you to link to an interactive grid and filter the information in that report based on information passed in the link. So the screenshot here uh, depicts linking from a chart down to an interactive grid. So let's just take a closer look at that particular example. And I'm using the 20.1 sample charts app here, just clicking on the new in 20.1. So we actually have a couple of examples specifically demoing this. So this particular chart is depicting the jobs by department and the departments being 10, 20 and 30, as you see on the X axis at the bottom. If I click on an element of the chart, I want to redirect to an interactive grid and have it filtered based upon the department of the chosen selected item. So in this case, it's uh, an item for group uh, or department 20. And I've come down to my interactive grid page where a filter has been uh, defined. And just to prove that there is actually additional data in here, you can see. Um, but that was defined via specification in the URL. So it's also setting a filter on a saved report for that uh, interactive grid. Let's take a look at the link and how it was defined on that chart. So down in the chart at series level, we'll take a look at the link information. And let's try here, there we go. My page in question is 29. That's where my interactive grid resides. I want to pass in the depth no value from my chart query. And I want to have that set a depth no column on the interactive grid. So over here, I'm using the IG underscore prefix to identify that it is a column of the interactive grid. Now, this won't be anything new to those of you that are uh, actively working with interactive reports. Very similar syntax. And next in the clear reset section, we've got the actions here for clearing regions. Or similarly, you could enter C or in the clear cache field here, and that will do the same thing. That will clear existing filters off uh, the saved interactive grid that you were linking to. We also have this reset regions option here. Or similarly, you can enter or or in the clear cache field here, and that will do the same thing and that will reset the interactive grid back to its base report settings. Now here in the request, I guess this is the, uh, the most interesting piece to take note of. Uh, we are using again, syntax similar to interactive report functionality where the first section I'm highlighting is essentially identifying the interactive grid on the page I'm linking to using the IG square brackets. And then uh, within those brackets, the emp is the region static ID that I have defined on my interactive grid region. Then the latter part here, the emp underscore details, that's my actual saved report name. So if you're actively working with interactive grids currently, you'll know already that we don't expose the option to set a static ID at saved report level, but that is something that we uh, do hope to include in the next uh, release and safe harbor obviously and um, the idea there would be for future support of this url filtering you would enter the static id for the saved report here rather than the report name so that's just a quick overview of one of the options there but let's come back in here uh, if you want to delve in further into the documentation on this take a look at our user's guide that's via the develop reports link and there's a section 1068 that completely covers this uh, new feature. It includes the supported syntax and accompanying examples uh, for each of the syntax options there. Again, very similar to the uh, interactive report uh, functionality that uh, has existed for a number of releases now. But for a number of other examples, um, I've covered the sample charts one, but sample interactive grid and sample reporting apps in 20.1 also include specific examples. So you can take a look at those and get a better uh, feel for how to incorporate them into your own apps. And then last but not least, we now have a documented Apex IG PL SQL API 
and that is uh, available through our API reference guide. And that's in section 19. Uh, and again, it is uh, very similar to the functionality already supported for interactive report through the Apex IOR API. If I just drill back in here. Taking a quick look in the documentation, you can use the uh, procedures that are documented in here if you are programmatically working with interactive grids in your apps uh, to add filters or indeed clear a report or reset. And the procedures themselves are fully documented with accompanying examples uh, to get a better feel for them. So that's just a quick overview and I'll pass back to Mark now. Right, thanks, Louis. Uh, and then next up, we have Menno uh, 